Hello beautiful world, this is Ferris Al Hajri PhD AM from Hakwa Wellness uh, Blacksburg, Virginia. I am from Oman, Arabian Peninsula. I'm already five here, five years here with our office here, our our our, our organization company called Hakwa Wellness in Blacksburg, Virginia. This topic solicit. Solicit. Why? Why? Why we seek solicit? Why we solicit the world? Is that without your presence, without your collaboration, we cannot do anything. We need, it's about we, it's not about us, it's not about me, it's about you, whoever believe, whoever want to join, whoever ha want to keep this, uh, I mean, to this uh, campaign to move forward. Without the presence of the community, without the presence of all decision makers in different parts of the society, without the world community, then this solar city can never move, even take an inch. Remember, a cruise cannot move by just only the captain, or by just only the, the mechanic, or the, the technician, or whatever. I mean, it needs an entire team. And that team can make a cruise to move. So we need, we need your support. And we solicit all the following, as you can see here. We solicit the United States president. We solicit the world leaders, WHO, FDA, CDC, NIH, Oman Sultan, because I'm coming from Oman, Arabian Peninsula, GCC, which is the Gulf Cooperation Council, investors, the notable people, I mean, all this, as you could see, researchers, scientists, the general public, I mean, all of you, everyone is forming part of the society. And with your support, with you, we can do better world. We can leave a legacy. We can make our children today, our generations, ourselves here today, and our generations, and our children, and our upcoming generations. We can leave a legacy. We can make a make better world. So we don't have to fear of this great impact of the civilizations taking place. Of the, what we don't call it revolution more than we call it evolution. Everything goes through evolution. And now we're entering the 21st century uh, healthcare system evolution that this healthcare system is now taking a new shape, most especially after the coronavirus pandemic. The healthcare system is completely taking a new shape, and everybody knows that. Let's go to this. And this all this started with a pain from the childhood. It's something started with the, my mother. But before we talk about, we also do not forget pharmaceutical industries. They spend billions. They invest in research and development, developing drugs. But because of new shift, we also invite, we solicit pharmaceutical industries. Come and join us with this new 21st century healthcare system. We do not oppose you. We do not suppress you. We do not underestimate what you have contributed. But since the world is taking a new ship, a new healthcare system is taking place, please come and join us. Because a lot of industries, they went completely through a different change. They collapsed because a new industry is coming up. This is happening. So it's, nobody can change that. It's by itself happening. So with the, this pandemic, the entire world is now going to shift into a complete, a new healthcare system. And pharmaceutical drugs is going to be something different. I believe, I believe that. People want to change the lifestyle, cut down using of drugs so they can maintain, they can be able to sustain any new virus, whether the present one, COVID-19, or a new COVID-20, whatever it is, or 22 or 23, or so on, I mean, please. So this, everything started with childhood. It started with the pain of the, my mother. Many have gone through this pain. Somewhere, somehow, you love one. So the pain I went through is my mother for 35 years, 10 surgical operations, seven in Africa, and three in the United Kingdom that ended with three chemotherapies. What did they do? I mean, it's just she suffered and suffered that has led us to be split in two, family of eight, three brothers and five sisters. 
So that's a terrible pain. That pain from the childhood, it led me to start to look at the stars. I make a wish, and I know the universe somewhere, somehow would respond. Looking at the stars and wish that when I grow older, that to find something natural, that without side effect, can heal my mother and heal the world. But that dream was not accomplished. But I never knew that the universe would respond in a completely different way. So what happens is that when I keep on growing and growing, I started to go through this boomerang effect, the impact, the shock. This boomerang effect it started with the inferiority complex. I can't stand in front of people. I can't speak. That's all. It affected my life. And it went further. So I started to become more alcoholic because the, the papers are my friend. They don't confront me. They don't laugh at me because of that inferiority complex. I can't stand in front of people and speak. But that has affected me. So I turn, because paper, they don't talk to me. They respond and my boss is happy. And then I started to have this pharmacophobia because of what happened to the story of my mother. So all this, but this was not enough. This was not enough, but it was this changes I'm going through, the pain that I'm going through, the you know, irresistible pain that I feel I cannot, I cannot take it. And what happened to that? The aftermath of the Big Bang, what I believe, the psychological Big Bang, the health of the Big Bang. So I started to have these symptoms of uh, sickness because of being workaholic, because of the not understanding what my body is craving, what my body is crying. Now, what is looking? What is the root cause of my problem more than just going to find the symptoms? So at that time, I didn't know what is the root cause. I tried to go into the symptoms. But the symptoms are the medicines, are the drugs I'm taking, prescription drugs for my hospital, my doctor. So it started to move from a situation, the body is crying, moving from one health complication to the next and to the next, and to, as you can see. So it went to allergic rhinitis, asthma attacks, my attack. Twice I collapsed, migraine and embargo. So this situation was not good to me. When I found like that, I said, I'm gonna die in a way, so I, I, can't, I can't take these drugs. They didn't do anything good. They, they didn't prevent me to get even worse. I mean, it's just getting worse. So what happened? I, I'm going to die, so I need to stop. I need to do something. So I started to look for alternative solution. I didn't want to go to herbal because whatever could be, I wanted to find out something new, something different. What our body, something is friendly to our body. What our body, so I, because of that, you know, subconscious, seeking and answering every day, every day, everything changed in one day. In one day, experimentation, which I call the kitchen analysis, where I use uh, hot water, cold water, pour, pour on a leftover food with some fat deposit, everything changed. Then, of course, we see that we can see the difference with the cold water and all versus hot water. From that time, I decided immediately to start drinking eight glasses of hot water at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So I went further. What I did myself immediately when I started to use the hot water, I reported to the hospital where my wife used to work as a registered nurse in the police hospital Oman, Royal Oman uh, Police Hospital. And I reported why I'm not taking medication. So they kept a record. And exactly one year, as I found my health completely improved with hot water, I didn't have any attack, I didn't have any asthma attack, any migraine, and all this. Everything went to normal. So when I went to full checkup, they were amazed. And they immediately raised the issue to the medical committee and they issue a certificate from the medical committee because I have a 63 medical checkup, which I have with me. Anybody can have it uh, if you want it. 63 medical checkup, like a completely born, completely newly born, a baby, born in a full physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. So based on that, they granted me a certificate by the com medical committee that by only, medi uh, by only that I was cured from all chronic, so you can read that, just uh, an abbreviation, med medical committee report. Unique ailments, asthma, lumbago, migraine, allergic rhinitis, without any, any medication, by only taking eight glasses of hot water daily, daily. So as you could see here, so that's where the dream started. The great impact started. The big bang to me, to my life of a great change that I was wishing from the 
my childhood. So what did I do? I was a county surveyor by profession, working the government, Minister of Housing, 23 years. So I, to me, it's, I'm a baby. I don't know anything about holistic, about natural healing, about how water, how it could impact. But what I did, I said to study and study and study and do my own personal hypothesis then and move into, so I started to conduct lectures. I wanted to see the community, how they respond. So I went into different organizations. I target different organizations. And in addition to, as you can see here, and in addition to the public, in addition to countries. So I, I presented my lectures, 60 lectures in different countries and in different parts of the world. Not only that, I went further to that into conducting speaking engagement, but also media interview. So I went into media interview because people are talking and so on. I collect that evidence. So based on that, I underwent 92 media interviews, TV interviews, newspapers, radio interviews, press releases, magazines, and so on. That, that covers different parts of the world, including the United States, Australia, and other places, and so on. That was not enough for me. So I wanted to go farther. I wanted to see what, what I mean, it's, life is a school that has an endless process of learning. Every day we learn and learn and learn. So what I did, I started to be a speaker, moderator, organizing committee member, chief, uh, chief uh, chair or person of the, one of the committee, or one of the sessions, and so on. Um, the session the leader of the uh, presentation, uh, um, all this covered with different countries, as you could see. United States, you know, India, and Australia, UAE, um, Philippines, uh, and so on. So that gave me also to understand as I mingle with, them, with the scientific community, where am I standing? That's not enough. I mean, I wanted to go to do further. So what I did, I wrote three books. But this three, uh, the, first I wrote two books, and I led these books to attend to participate in seven international book fair that covers globally. US, uh, London, I mean, and uh, UK, and different parts of the world, as you could see. Not only that, so based on that, I wrote three books. I added another third book. These three books, as you could see, the first one, as you could see, the second one, and the latest one recently, we launched a new book. And all these books are published by Author House, the headquarters in Illinois, in the United States, and they have a branch in the UK. So, not only that, I wanted to do more to what I've been achieving. So, we collected so far for 13 years, 500 anecdotal evidences. All these compiled into 57 diseases and health issues, in addition to 27 health benefits, as with the list here. So that was able to give us the position to understand where are we standing? We do not make a claim of treating diseases. We believe that the hot water revitalized the human's body to its state as to provide the fuels to reinstate the body into, uh, to heal itself by itself, to protect itself by itself, to strengthen the immune system. So based on that, we managed to collect three clinical trial, and that was done by Professor Zeriza with her student in master's degree in Algeria, University uh, Le Frère Constantine, in three years, 17, 2018, and 2019, and the results were really amazing using rats. So it, this is a clinical trial that gave us one step forward to realize where are we standing, where are we moving, and how we can move forward. So all these efforts that have been done, we thank Professor Zeriza for what she has done with our students and giving us the credit and sending us all these uh, clinical trials. So we did our best. It's not your time. We need the world community. All those categories from world leaders, U.S. President, Oman Sultan, GCC leaders, and world leaders, uh, agencies, organizations, so I mean, all those as we mentioned, is that the ship, the crews cannot move with just one person or two person. We need different categories, different part of the society. We need you, we need you. So please, come and join us to make a better world. Thank you so much. And please, like our video, subscribe to our channel if you did not, share to your loved one, to your connections. Please write your testimonial, whatever, COVID-19, whatever it is, any health complication or any health benefits, please, Share with us so we can do better. We need the community. We need you. Thank you, beautiful world. Have a wonderful evening.
whether you're watching this evening or day. A wonderful day, wonderful evening. It's already evening and this is my seventh. So I had a four recording just now. And each recording I'm taking one entire 17 ounce or 50, 500 milliliters of hot, hot water at 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And out of the morning, I've been taking already four or five glasses, so five plus four, now I reach nine. So, because I, when I speak, I like to, every 20 minutes, I need to finish one entire glass of hot water. Because as I speak, I become dehydrated more than just only dehydrated. Thank you so much, beautiful world. Bye-bye. It's delicious, wow. Thank you.